ام الغامانی یما ده هشت و سی و دان را و هشت و سی دان را و حتی آکو یسته که دو هزار و بیست و یکا اما زرن من دیکی زور بوی لنفرا لمالیاتا لزویکشت و کالا للورگایا The legacy of war is still affecting the lives of millions around the world, especially in Iraq, a country with a long history of armed conflict. An exploded or abandoned ordnance and improvised explosive devices still pose a serious and ongoing threat to civilian lives. They can be found anywhere, along roads, footpaths, farmers' fields, deserts, or surrounding houses and schools. Unfortunately, Iraq is the most contaminated country in the world with different types of explosive ordnance contamination, including landmines, cluster munition, improvised explosive devices, and other types of explosive ordnance, which impacts people's lives and the socioeconomic situation by blocking access to infrastructure, agricultural areas, and other vital areas. That was a big challenge facing the mine action community and also facing the Iraqi government, how they will deal with this all contamination. The size of the contamination and the level and the, of the threat is too high in Iraq. I can say Iraq now is the biggest country with the contamination. Explosive remains everywhere. Uh, some of the mines also move it from the actual areas that has been planned because of the climate change, all the flooding, uh, snowing in the north area. من که عثمان عزیز قادر مخلق گندی ما و خلانم انجومانی گنده که یه ما زرنمان بوی لبره وی که ریگه من پی نادره بچی نه همو شوه نکن اینجا سی نفر من که من دام بوه دو نفر من کوش راو زیال لسه سر حیوان من تلف بوه اینجا خلقی لاوشی که هاتو الغامی حلقی تو تو تفافونی که که دو توانی خلقی سی سایق لیره کوش راو لب چه وی سراو any economic uh, issues that lead us to have a huge amount of number of the survivors. In uh, Iraqi Kurdistan, we have uh, recorded till now 13,000 of survivors from the landmine and uh, explosive remain from the war. In federal Iraq, the survey is not completed, but so far above 30,000 survivors has been recorded. Explosive ordnance risk education also plays a critical role in mitigating the risks of mines on affected populations. Aurena ma ya gar na buaya, ya ma khasarat ma ziatri ala na para. Yani hachi khalqbu bjiwi la sar faqon la la na uyak badwa hatawa ku piyama na na uno. خلق شو قنبلهش کن، خلق شو الغامیش کن، خلق شو گل هوانیش کن با فافونه کی، گل فاسی آنش کن با فافونه کی، که امر نمایانه ان پی اکتی نیم کولمان، یه ملی دور کوتی نو، یه ما همونی دور کوتی نو لام شتانه خواب راستی نی. After 2014, this issue became bigger. Because with the ISIS uh, operation in the Syria and in Iraq, the contamination is changed, and uh, the social, economic, and the infrastructure is directly impacted. Because ISIS was an uh, operation; it was inside the cities. ISIS destroyed more majority of the infrastructures inside the cities, and. Uh, the contamination is changed from the traditional minefields to the IED, improvised devices. And it, they use it high techniques and they put it everywhere. They targeted civilian, they targeted uh, humanitarian organizations, and they left huge contamination with the IEDs. And it, is, it blocked people, returnees, to go back. As IMAP 
uh, it was uh, very critical because each organization, when they want to plan, when they want to respond to this emergency, they need the information. So for the IMAP, it was a big challenge to collect the information from the ground, from the technology and from the media to analyze this data and provide a desktop survey for the organizations because first should be my action to respond to the emergency because uh, you need to coordinate with the other clusters but the priority should be the mine action if you are not removing the threats uh, explosive that means you will have more accidents more victims